All right. Well, I got the I got the stuff bolted onto the stuff. The one stuff bolted onto the other stuff. Does that look? Uh, yeah, I guess it looks even. Looking pretty good, huh? I got the hook on. Got the hook on through the thing. You got your little cotter pin. That's another. Here's a items to carry tip. A bunch of extra cotter pins because you never know when you're going to have to replace that. <laughs> Along with other cotter pins that are on your Jeep. So there you got your your hook. Got it through the fair lead. Got it mounted. I got all the um, I got all the bolts tightened up with uh, Loctite. I'm not getting paid for this. See your average earnings income disclosure. See your disclaimer whatnot but this is what I used it's a Loctite stick I'm pretty good it's a lot more handy than using that that liquid liquid drip stuff that gets all over the place so yeah I got them bolted down I tightened them up with my um, little impact there now to deal with the wiring I gotta get it on the bumper so I've already matched up the holes to the bumper of the Jeep and it should fit it should fit in there rather nicely so I just gotta get the wiring the wiring done so I got the bolts nice and tight torqued down I didn't see any torque indicator on the um, the bolts as far as the instructions go so I don't know how tight it's supposed to be but I got my impact I use that for lug nuts and stuff and it seems to do fine so I try not to wrench on it too much because I don't want to, um, you know, snap them off. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the, the bolts say 8.8 on them, but I still don't want to crank on them, you know, to as much as that wrench will go. But I torque them down a little bit. I hit them pretty snug with the, the thread, thread locker on there. And that should, that should turn out okay. I just got to figure out the wiring. So, um, yeah, it would be nice to have a cover on that. I don't have a cover for it. But, all right, that's where I'm at so far. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few.